Here are the five best free fuses for DaVinci Resolve. Fuses? I clicked on the best free plugins video. Yeah, we'll get to that. But if you don't know what a fuse is, a fuse is an effect for fusion that has actually been written in code in order to give us some great effects that we would not have had before. Fuse effect is closer to what a real video plugin is compared to what I see a lot of other YouTube channels claim what their plugins are. If you want to see what actual video plugins you already have, go up to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, System, and then Video Plugins, and you can see all the actual video plugins that you have in Resolve. Me, I only have Dehancer, but if you have others installed, they will show up here. But these are the real plugins. You actually have a hidden one that you can't see because those are the ones that come with DaVinci Resolve. And that's why you have like two different transforms in the Fusion page. One is from the program, one is from the OFX plugin. You can get another plugin for free called Crocodove if you have Reactor, which is a script by the way, and the paid version of DaVinci Resolve that gives you a bunch more tools that not even Fuses can make. Only problem is right now the plugin only works for Resolve 17 versions because it needs to be updated. But if you have standalone Fusion, it should work for you. If you want to explore the world of actual video plugins like Twixter, Sapphire, Boris Effects, Universal Plugins, Magic Bullet, and Dehancer, go right ahead, but it gets super pricey if done legally. But all in all to say, now you know the differences, and if you disagree with me, let me know down below. I'm not trying to throw shade on anyone, I just don't particularly like misconstruing plugins with presets. The word plugin is just more of a buzzword, as you can see, since you're here. All right, now to the five best free fuses for DaVinci Resolve. Throughout the video, you're gonna need to be installing these fuses, and in order to do that, you need to find the fuse folder. Easy way to do that is if you're in the Fusion page and you go down to the bottom right where these little numbers are, the percentage and the cache megabytes over here, if you double click these, it's gonna pop up with these Fusion settings here. And if you go over to Path Map, and then go over to Fuses, and then right click this and see all your files that you can store fuses in. If you right click it and then you could go and show which folder you use. And I usually put it in the one that's on my C drive. And once you click that, the file will pop up. Mine's on my second monitor, but that will pop up where you can save those fuse files that we are going to get in this video. All right, the first effect we're going to get is XF Chroma from Reactor. So if you don't know how to get Reactor, I have a video down below how to install it. So go to Workspace, go down to Scripts, and then go over to Reactor and go to Open Reactor. And it's going to open up. Then we're going to type in that search bar, XF Chroma Fuse and then click the check marks next to it in order to install it. And for every fuse, you need to restart after you install it into the fuse folder in order to use it. So that's there. And then now you have the tool and you see what it does. Let's do XF Chroma Fuse. And then if we take a look at it and we play around with the settings, we move left and right, and it gives us this nice RGB chroma type of look. You mess with it. And yeah, this is what I would usually use if I need any sort of chroma. And it runs super fast. It's super nice. You can also change the gradient if you would like. So zoom in like this. You can see a little bit more better. And you also change the number of steps, the amount of samples that are being used in order to blur it in between where you are moving clip from and where the original clip is. So you, got, you go all the way down to two. This is that nice look. Yeah, this is super nice. So thank you, Stefan, for making it. The next tool we're going to use is the Turbulent Noise by Learn Now VFX. This is a really nice free alternative to the fast noise that we have. It gives you five more noise patterns that you can use for textures and everything like that. So in order to download this, we're going to go to a website here under the free tools and I'm going to hit download. Place it in your fuse folder like that. Hit save. And with fuses, you don't even need to unzip the file. It will install even if you have the zip file in there. So that's very nice. So let's open this up. Turbulent noise right there. And then let's take a look at what it looks like. So we have this fire setting with our all of our noise controls, rotation and center. And there's a sub rotation, which just gives us like the control of the, another layer that's underneath the noise. Nice for like seething. We have our other C that's over here, our brightness, our seeth rate and our contrast like that. And then we have our color tab over here. When you don't have the ability to do gradients, that's okay. You can put a gradient map on top of this and you should be fine. As long as these are black and white. Let's go through the noise types. So we have fire, we have smoke, we have turbulent and we have fluid. Thank you, Learn Now Effects. But there's also another tool that he has. It's from the same website. It is Nova. I really like Nova. It's like a particle system. Let's take a look at this. We have this nice particle pattern and it works the same way, similar to noise itself, as well as some having some other effects that you can mess around with. I think this is really cool. You can do this or you can also get rid of all the lines, the line thickness down. And so we just have particles like that. And you could play around this and then even move it up and down. If we find the translation. There we go. Nice, easy particles this way. And it runs super fast. So that's a nice plus. Go get this tool play around with it and yeah there's a lot of stuff you can do with this stuff all right next one we're going to get is from a different person their name is Akascape. Akascape has been a fuse maker he has a couple free fuses that are super nice one of them is a modulation and it just gives us this nice glitch effect go through the gum road give you the download link through your email and then you could install it into your fuses folder and so let's take a look at super modulation do this in order to get it but now you have this nice modulation effect and it's nice for that glitchy kind of scan line look especially in this non-uniform kind of look and yeah and 
animated, you can take the alpha down in order to put it on top of something else. You can change the channel in which it is being sampled from, as well as changing the density or how big the weight of the black lines are, and then frequency as well as image quality. And yeah, this is just super nice to have. Another one from him that just came out is the super polygon. So this is more of your poly trace effect, as well as having a Veroni extra noise on top of it. Same process with that as well. And let's pull this up, super poly. Immediately we have the Veroni noise, then we have Veroni layers, which gives us a more in-depth look. And like I was playing around with this, I liked using edge detect with this in order to something like this. And then I can overlay this on top of the original footage. And it looks, it looks interesting. It looks interesting. Put something like that, even over here and like blur it. Maybe some ideas come up with that. But yeah, there's this. And you can also change the scale on how big these textures are going to be. That's, that's nice as well. Veroni, same thing. Then we have the triangulate, which this one is a little glitchy right now, but this is going to be your poly trace effect. And for some reason, it doesn't like this clip where it goes zoom out at this part but usually it shouldn't be this glitchy and if you have some problems you just clear cache and it will reset and then you can try and pre-render sometimes you look out sometimes you don't especially over here i don't know why it does this but like if a clear cache oh well, maybe it just does not like this clip oh boy anyway lastly we have the tiles which is another texture and yeah it's just it's just super nice stuff those are my five favorite fuses go get them go support the creators if you're interested in getting free presets check out this video here where i go over my favorite free presets for DaVinci Resolve.